simple pendulum. Aim. Determine the acceleration due to gravity at a place using simple pendulum and calculate the percentage error in acceleration due to gravity value. Calculate the length of the second pendulum from L minus T square graph. Apparatus. Simple pendulum, stop clock, vernier calipers, meter scale, retort stand and split cork. Theory. The length of the pendulum L is the distance between the point of suspension S and the center of the bob O when the pendulum is pulled to a side and released. It begins about its mean position to oscillate. The maximum displacement of the vibrating body from its equilibrium position is called its amplitude. The time taken for one oscillation of the vibrating body is called time period T. The acceleration of a freely falling body due to Earth's attraction is called the acceleration due to gravity G. The acceleration due to gravity G is calculated by using the formula given below. T is equal to 2 pi into root of L by G or G is equal to 4 pi square into L by T square centimeters to the power of minus 2. Measure the diameter of the simple pendulum bob with a vernier calipers. Zero error of the vernier calipers is zero. Least count of the scale LC is equal to one main scale reading by number of vernier divisions. One mm by ten is equal to zero point one mm is equal to 0.01 cm. Place the bob between the outside jaws of the vernier calipers. The seventh line on the vernier coincides with the main scale. Hence, vernier coincidence we see is 7. A simple pendulum has a pendulum bob suspended to a stand using a thread. An oscillation is complete when a bob passes through a point and comes back to the point. Length of the pendulum is taken from the point of suspension to the center of the bob. Drag the bob aside by a small angle say 5 and release it. The bob will start oscillating. Start the stopwatch. Count for 20 oscillations of the pendulum. Stop the stopwatch after 20 oscillations. Note the time period into 1 for trial 1 and repeat the process for trial 2. Reset the stopwatch. Drag the bob aside by a small angle, say 5, and release it. The bob will start oscillating. Start the stopwatch. Count for 20 oscillations of the pendulum. Stop the stopwatch after 20 oscillations. Note the time period into 1 for trial 1 and repeat the process for trial 2. Repeat the experiment for different length of the simple pendulum and note the time periods in the tabular form. Calculate the acceleration due to gravity using the formula. Precautions 1. The amplitude should be small. 2. The bob should not spin as it oscillates in the vertical plane. 3. The lower faces of split cork should be in the same horizontal plane. 4. A vernier calipers should be used to find the radius of the bob.